as the song go. One nil and you messed it up. One nil and you messed it up. Oh dear. Very disappointing game. Could have been so much better. First half, we looked really good. Kane was really sharp. Looked like he was really up for it. Um, Ericsson had a far better game than he'd been having. Uh, mainly because the uh, midfield gave him some, some space to play. Um, and obviously with Delhi coming back, I think that meant, that meant a little bit um, of uh, stability for him. Um, they were laying balls off to each other and, and spreading, the, spreading the play quite well. Um, Walker Peters, I thought, was playing really well in the first half. Had a, had, a, had a decent game. Even won a couple of headers. I mean, the boy's only that big. He's that big. And he won a couple of headers. Lucas Moura was running their number four. Don't ask me what his name is because I don't look at other teams' players. He was running in ragged. He was absolutely cacking his pants. Um, every time Moura got the ball, um, you could see it in the player. He was he was rocking. Um, so yeah, he he was playing. Uh, he played pretty well in the first half. He he seemed to to be adding something to it. Um, but again, we. <laughs> A lot of the time we're playing the playing the ball in front of the back four, you know, tippy tappy, tippy tappy, and and sometimes it's calling out for a, you know, just smash it one, you know. So that was, you know, that was, for me was the disappointing thing because I think we could have had like two or three more goals. To be fair, at, at some point, Ericsson hit the crossbar, with a, you know, cracking shot. Um, so you know, it could have been also oh, different. Um, but well, what can you do, you know? So um, Danny Rose, I said to I said to Chris, who was who was next to me, I think Danny Rose has been given a license to roam because he was everywhere in the first half uh, today. He was popping up all over the place, and he he was literally throwing himself in front of every ball. Um, some great tackles, um, some great recoveries. So it, it was the first half was quite entertaining uh, from from a Spurs point of view. Um, I, I was really enjoying it. We was having a right old sing song. We were singing, you know, Tottenham's going home, we're going, we're home, which was great. Um, there was a great atmosphere uh, amongst the fans. Um, so yeah, it was all going. It was all going so well. It was all going so well. Um, half time came, and uh, I don't know what team came out in the second half because it certainly wasn't the team that was playing in the first half. And that, I guess, is the biggest disappointment. The fact that we um, we let them start to play, and play they did. They were passing the ball around, they were getting it forward, they had a lot of urgency, and uh, deservedly, they got their equaliser. So, once they got their equaliser, we woke up a little bit, and it was a case of, okay, we're now chasing the game again. Um, let's get ourselves going. A break away, a mistake by Kyle Walker-Peters, and... Dave Ward-Prowse, I believe it is, stepped up, scored a worldie. Great, great free kick. Pretty much similar to Ericsson's, but this one went in. Um, after that, the, 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 the last sort of 15 minutes of the game seemed to f absolutely fly by. And uh, we were chasing it and chasing it and chasing it. And uh, it is what it is, you know, where we ended up. So really disappointing, uh, to be honest. A, t a tale of two halves, shall we say. So that was a, you know, a bit of a shame. Um, I had a good day, to be fair. Um, the football sport it. Uh, Travelled up with the South Dorset Spurs. Boys met up with them. Um, we had a good old laugh together. Um, happened to meet uh, one of my best friends from school, Ricky P, you know who you are. And uh, also Northie. Met up with him as well, which was which was great um, to say hello to him and and have a bit of a, a chin wag. Uh, also met um, one of my subscribers to my channel, Harry. You know who you are. You'll notice I no swearing in this video for you, Harry. Um, so yeah, it was a a good day. Poor performance in the end, um, and I hate to say it, but the scummers deserve to uh, to actually win the game. Disappointing with that, but it is what it is. What can you do? So we move on to the next game. Um, 
we need to hope that Manure and the Scum draw, because a win for either of them is not what we want. I'll leave it there, up the Spurs. If you enjoyed my video and you want to see more of them, please head over to YouTube, Lead the Dorset Spur, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, up the Spurs.